Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to edit CSS on your WordPress site while using the new full site editor. And if you're new to the full site editor, it's basically WordPress's new editing experience that was added during the 5.9 update. And it drastically changed how you create and edit themes, page templates, and elements. And I just started using the full site editor for some of my projects. And as I was building a new site with the new editor, I was having trouble making CSS edits to some of the elements within that site. However, I discovered a quick and easy tip that not only sped up the process, but it allowed me to use the original customization menu within the new full site editor so that I could make CSS edits on the fly to my WordPress site. And this tutorial will show you that tip and walk you through that process step by step. Now, real quick, before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you found me. Here you'll find professional step-by-step -step video tutorials and product reviews aimed to help you become the best digital creator that you could be. And if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it also allows you to stay up to date with all the digital marketing and WordPress tips and trends that are happening throughout the year. So as always, thank you for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first let me give you a quick review of how I normally make CSS edits to my WordPress sites. And keep in mind that this was before the full site editor was launched. So in order to edit and customize CSS on your WordPress site, one of the most popular ways to do so would be through the additional CSS widget within the customization menu. And we're currently at one of my demo sites that's running WordPress 6.2 using the KL theme. And in order to make CSS edits, you'd wanna access the additional CSS widget, which can be done within the WordPress dashboard. Simply hover your mouse over appearance and click on customize. And this will take you to the front end of the site where the customization menu will open on the left-hand side of the screen. And this is where you can begin configuring various aspects of your site, one of them being CSS. So from here, you'd open the additional CSS tab, which would then open a text box where you could add snippets of CSS code and make style changes to your site. Additionally, just for review purposes, you can also access the customization menu within the admin toolbar at the top of the screen on the front end of your site. Remember, we're still not using the full site editor right now, so you can access the customization menu by simply clicking on where it says customize. And this will open up the menu, or you could then open the additional CSS tab and begin customizing the CSS on your site. This is how I would have updated and configured the CSS on my WordPress websites and blogs in the past. However, once the full site editor rolled out, it changed everything, and for the better in my opinion, but that's for a whole other video. Either way, let's move on and actually use the full site editor to edit CSS. Okay, so in this portion of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you the tip that helped me make edits to my WordPress website CSS without having to install a plugin. Now I should point out that you can obviously make changes to your style sheet if you wanna edit CSS, but I really like the convenience of the customization menu and being able to make changes to the CSS right there on the fly in real time. All right, so first let me show you what I was trying to change. So we're currently at the front end of a website I'm building using WordPress's new full site editor. This is a block theme that only works with the full site editor. And as you can see, the customization menu is no longer accessible in the admin toolbar at the top of the screen. Additionally, if we head to the WordPress dashboard and then hover your mouse over appearance, you'll see that you can't access the customization menu here either. That's because most of the style customizations are now handled within the blocks. So instead of the customization option, you now have an editor option, and this takes you to the full site editor where you could still make some pretty drastic design changes, but it wasn't letting me make the CSS style change that I needed to make, which I'll show you right now. So if we head to my blog page, you'll see that within the sidebar, I have a category section with a drop down menu that allows people to filter the content by category. Pretty standard. However, the category block that WordPress provides by default uses this blue outline and transparent background for the categories drop down menu, which doesn't match my site's color scheme. 
and from what I could find, it wouldn't let me edit this particular style of the block within the full site editor. So that's when I did some digging and found this tip that I'm about to share. Okay, so first within your browser, enter the following URL. You can access this URL in the show notes below the video and just swap out the example domain with your WordPress domain. But again, it should be your domain forward slash WP admin forward slash customize.php. Then click enter on your keyboard as if you're visiting this URL. And this will bring you to a limited version of the theme customization menu. How cool is that? Now, as I mentioned, it is limited, only giving you access to changing the theme, the site identity settings, homepage settings, but you can still access the additional CSS widget, which is all I wanna do. So check this out. I'm still in the full site editor using my block theme, but now I'm using the customization.php URL. And this allows me to open the additional CSS tab and then paste my snippet of CSS there we go, so far so good. Then once you've entered the updated code, don't forget to publish your changes, so go ahead and click the publish button. And there we go. Then once our changes have been published, let's go ahead and refresh the page. And then it actually takes me back to the home page, so let's go to our blog page where we made the changes and check that out. You'll see that the CSS has been updated and the style change has been implemented where instead of the blue outline and transparent background, it's now displaying a black outline with a white background. Looks much better and was accomplished with the help from some CSS and this quick little customization tip. So that's pretty much it. You can revisit this URL anytime you want to use the customization menu within your full site editor to make CSS changes. And I love it because it allows me to make edits in real time without having to go back and forth between my site and my style sheet. And I don't have to use a plugin that takes up bandwidth or costs money. So I hope you found this helpful. And as always, if you have any questions or need some extra help, feel free to reach out in the comments. I'm more than happy to connect and help out in any way that I can. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you have your WordPress site up and running, check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll show you everything you need to know step-by-step. Step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.